It's a Rooney. Just got done watching the X-Files series. Mm. Do you know what's cool? Do you? Aliens. How cool are they? What about alien movies? Like E.T., Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the Alien series, the Men in Black series, Mars Attacks, War of the Worlds, uh, The Thing, Galaxy Quest, The Day the Earth Stood Still, oh, Coneheads. So many great movies and so many great stories all going into depth about extraterrestrial beings. And they all showed that there could be a lot more out there than we could possibly fathom. In the 1980s, after the success of E.T., people started making their own clones to cash off the success of a kind, friendly alien film. Three stand out for being so bad amongst them. Nuki, Pod People and Mac and Me. I haven't gone around to watch either Pod People or Nuki yet, so let's start off with Mac and Me. Mac and Me is a 1988 E.T. clone like I mentioned. Directed by Stuart Raphael, Mac and Me starts off with a family of aliens that get sucked into a mini ship and are captured by NASA from their home planet and brought back to Earth. Also, what a cunt that that is. He drags everyone along with him as he gets sucked in. <laughs> they escape, one of which is a Bailey alien further known as Mac, who hides out in a van belonging to the cruisers, who are travelling their way to California to live. They arrive and move into their new home where weird stuff starts happening to the young wheelchair boy, Eric. Like holes being put in the wall, TVs switching on randomly, toy cars moving by themselves, all very sneaky stuff. The big thing that ends up happening is Mac plants trees and puts boulders and sand all in the living room. Eric is blamed for this by his mum and brother and are furious at him. They don't believe him when he says that Mac did this. How would Eric, the kid in the wheelchair, move a boulder, trees and sand all by himself? In the morning, Eric goes for a roll and the little girl from next door follows him. On a slope, Eric's wheelchair breaks snap and he goes rolling down the hill, flying off the cliff and into the water. This scene has become very famous, especially thanks to Paul Rudd, who shows it on Conan O'Brien every time he's on it. Mac saves Eric. One night, Eric vacuums up Mac to prove he's real. The FBI are on to the family. They know they have Mac. On a play date, the little girl's mum drops Eric and her at McDonald's. Mac is hidden in the bear outfit. This is what Mickadees looked like in the 1980s. Partying everywhere, kids dancing in the parking lot, Ronald McDonald flowing about, then a big old choreographed group dance. So it's made abundantly clear the biggest marketing for this movie was to put as much product placement for Coke and McDonald's in as much as humanly possible. And it's not going to work. I'm telling you. Oh, my Coke's flat. Eric rides off from the FBI who chase him all the way through suburban California till Eric's brother saves him by picking up his whole body weight up into the fan including the wheelchair. Holy shit. They find Mac's alien family in a cave, who are diabetics or something because they're out cold. Basically dead, and are revived with a nice refreshing coke. Coke saves lives. They travel along in the van and end up at a grocery store. They all go in for a shop while the aliens stay in the van. The Mac Daddy in the van sees a girl in the other car drinking a coke. He breaks through the fan window, steals her coke, flips her off, and she drives off screaming. Yeah, fuck you, this coke is mine. The whole alien family go into the grocery store and break some shit. Security is called onto them and the Mac Daddy gets hold of the gun and they're essentially robbing the joint now. Police arrive and have a standoff with the aliens. Eric rolls off to save the aliens, but the police shoot up the joint, blowing up some gas tanks and basically killing Eric. As we see the haunting image of the aliens standing behind the flames, like Gangrel's entrance coming out of hell. Love the cut out of the wheelchair over the flames. The aliens come over to Eric's dead body and they use their alien powers to save his life, E.T. style. In the court, the aliens are seen now as respectful citizens and are granted American citizenship. Wait, so they could save Eric's life but couldn't give him the ability to walk? 
What a jip. They all drive off, leaving the sequel bait open and the movie ends. See, I think I prefer the alternate ending. This is a silly, silly movie, but far from bad. Let's just say it's so bad, it's so fucking good. The problems with the movie are mainly just the shameless product placements. I understand Macca's and Coke funded the movie, but shit, ease up with the product placements, damn. The movie was such a bomb, that sequel plan never came about. But I reckon they could do it now. Maybe the sequel can go like this. Uh, the alien family have a Coke and McDonald's addiction. They get tooth decay. They get urinary infections. Uh, Mac Daddy has a heart attack and dies. And then they take Coke and McDonald's to court to settle this in a big lawsuit. That's what I want in the sequel. Even with a crowdfunding campaign, it'll get the backing because it has a cult following, especially after its Mystery Science Theater episode. It is badly good, it has a lot of charm, a lot of wacky shit happening, and it's just a real joy to watch. Watch this movie, it's amazing.